We did it. We did it. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. Jamel Holly was one of last night's winners. Today, he went into the streets and shops of his town, Roselle, to thank people who may have voted for him. Whether it was walking, whether it was campaign events, whether it was coffee clutches, the people who opened up their homes, I ensured that I tried to make sure that I touched everybody that I possibly can. And so, you know, while I was concerned with the turnout, I knew that if I touched people, they would come out. If I met them and we talked about their issues and we came up with a plan about how we could, you know, help with some of their concerns, I knew that they would come out. And they did, Mike. Holly was running with Annette Quijano, a seven-year assemblywoman. They defeated a ticket allied with the Elizabeth Board of Education by nearly two to one. Keanu and Holly are part of the lesniak Bolwich team in Union County. The Elizabeth Board has been fighting that organization for two decades. Keanu was relieved to have survived in a low turnout election. There are those that will vote no matter what, every primary and every general election. And for those people, I thank them because it didn't matter if it was rainy and gloomy, they came out yesterday. It was a night for organization victories in all five contested primaries. In Hudson County, the organization-backed team of Nicholas Sharavalati and Angela McKnight beat five other Democrats by better than four to one. Sharavalati was once state director for Senator Bob Menendez. I think one of the keys to our success in this campaign and the, the large turnout we received despite the rainy weather is the fact that we reached out to every member of the community. And we're going to do that from now until November. And then even after we win, in every single one of our town halls, we talked about continuing that dialogue with the community. And then we'll see what happens in the future. In District 9, along the shore, Republican incumbents Brian Rumpf and Diane Gove beat a team of self-styled conservatives by 5-1. to one. In District 15, in the Trenton area, Incumbent Democrats Reed Gussiora and Liz Moyo defeated a sole challenger by nearly 4-1. to one. And in District 24 in Sussex County, incumbent Republican Parker Space and his running mate, freeholder Gail Phoebus, beat their two challengers by 3-1. to one. So the field is set for November's assembly election, but just as there were no surprises in the primary, no one expects much change or much drama in the general. In Roselle, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.